Hey, hello friends and welcome to this new Flutter video. In this, we're gonna be taking a look at Flutter frameworks and how it all works. Okay, so the first thing that you probably learn when you start learning Flutter is that everything is a widget. But what is a widget? Well, when you go deep into the documentation, you can find out that a widget is an immutable description of a part of user interface. Well, this says that the widget is immutable. So this raises another question that how can we update a widget if it itself is immutable and hence cannot change once defined? So when you go deep into the documentation, you can find out that there are basically three components that Flutter depends upon. And those are the widget, the element, and the render object. A widget is something that holds the configuration that you provide for the UI. For example, in a padding widget, you provide the padding and the child element that the padding has to hold. So the padding contains the configuration that is the padding value and the child element. An element in Flutter is something that holds the position in the UI tree. It manages the life cycle and the parent-child relationship between itself and the other elements. A render on object, on the other hand, knows about the layout and it paints the user interface. Okay, so knowing about the definition of widget, element, and render object is not sufficient to know how Flutter manages the UI state and the widgets. So let's take an example in which we have a center widget and a text placed as a child of the center. So in the first case, we'll have a hello world, and when the user presses the button, the text is going to change from hello world to hello YouTube. So we'll see how Flutter manages this UI change. Okay, so let's consider the app on the left-hand side first. Okay, so the first thing in this case that the Flutter does is that it looks at the center widget and it asks the center widget to create a respective element that is in this case is the single child render object element, which then holds the position in the UI when the Flutter framework calls the mount method of this element. So each element has a mount method that helps to mount this element to the hierarchy and gives it a particular slot in the hierarchy. So then the Flutter asks the element to create a render object based on the configuration of the widget. So in this case, it is a center widget and it only cares about the position of its child widget. Okay, so now you can say that uh, the element, the single child render object element that is the center is the root element. So the next element that the Flutter looks at in this point is the text widget that says hello world. And it asks it to create the render object element like before. Well, this time it creates a leaf render object element because this is the leaf node. And at this point, the Flutter sees that the last element it created was a single child render object element. And this is a leaf element, so it probably needs to attach this element to the previous element. And so it does. And now the framework asks this element that is the leaf render object element to create its render object. So this is in a nutshell how a widget tree is painted to the screen. So let's say now the user presses a button and the state changes and now the UI has to draw itself again. But this time with a text that says hello YouTube. So now it has a new center widget to put into the new hierarchy. So the framework looks at the new center widget and compares it to the previous center widget using the can update function of the widget. And if they have a same runtime type, that means they are both center widgets. So the Flutter knows that it can swap the previous center widget with the new widget configuration that is the new center widget. And this new configuration is then attached to the existing element that is the single child render object element. And as soon as the new center object, that is the new center configuration or widget, is attached to the previous element, that is a single child render object element, then it calls the update function as there might be some configuration changes with the new center widget. And in this case, the configuration remains the same because the center only cares about its child element and does not have any other properties. So the render object also remains the same. Okay. So now the Flutter framework looks at the other text widget and it knows that it's of the same run type as of the previous text widget that is in its place. And so it swaps the new text with the previous text widget and also the leaf render object element remains the same. 
And now the leaf render object element calls the update function to check for any configuration changes. So this time the text has changed. So the render object also gets swapped with a new render object. And hence the new text is displayed on the screen that says hello YouTube. So you can see that with this architecture Flutter efficiently updates only those components that it needs and reuses most of the existing components. Okay, so I hope you have a better understanding of the Flutter framework after watching this video. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button for more Flutter videos coming your way. See you next time. Peace.